Hi, I'm Zev Feldman. I'm the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Resonance Records in Los Angeles. I'm also a freelance producer for many other record labels and I'm a lifelong jazz hound. I became very familiar with Ina going back to the uh, early mid 2000s when the Jazz Icon series came out from Reelin' in the Years Productions. A great deal of that content was from the Ina archives. I think jazz connoisseurs recognize that the Europeans and especially the French were very instrumental in documenting a lot of this art, more so perhaps than in the United States we could venture to say. also became very aware in 2011 when Sony Music Group released the Miles Davis bootleg series there was a remarkable concert that was used that came from the Ina archives. It heightened my awareness to Ina, the rich archives, and I was very intrigued and interested. I wanted to know what else is there. I made contact with Ina and I provided a wish list of different artists and I was blown away, just astounded by what we found that was in this archive. <music> Funk and France is really two albums in one. It was recorded live at Maison de Radio here in Paris in 1969 with bassist Larry Ridley and drummer Don Lamond. And I had known about these recordings because there was actually a video that I had seen some time ago on YouTube. And I was like, wow, that's very interesting. I wonder what else there could be. And then, lo and behold, I was just amazed that we found two sets of music from the 1970 Antibes Jazz Festival. We had enough to do two LPs on that, and I felt that the music needed its own release. So we have created Out Funk. This captures a very important time in Grant Green's musical career, and it's just another example of how lucky we are of the great work that Ina has done to help preserve this music. It's a very proud partnership between Resonance Records and Ina. Mm -hmm.